Welcome back to Studio 209. Sponsored by City of Turlock Municipal Services. Vintage Fair Mall. 209 Magazine. Studio 209 starts now. Welcome to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Krista Messer. This week we get a little artsy in taking you to the Carnegie Art Center in Turlock for the Alphonse Mucha, the Golden Age of Art Nouveau exhibit that's on display for the public to enjoy through January 10th. Take a seat and enjoy the show after a word from our sponsors. Now that winter is approaching and temperatures are falling, it's time to start thinking about turning off your irrigation system. However, for customers who opt to keep their irrigation systems on, please remember that the City of Turlock's winter watering schedule limits landscape irrigation to one day per week. From November 1st to February 28th, even-numbered addresses may water on Saturdays and odd-numbered addresses on Sunday. And remember, watering is prohibited from the hours of 12 noon to 6 p.m. To find out more ways to save water at home, visit the City of Turlock's website at www.cityofturlock.org. Muka was born in Czechoslovakia, or in what is now Czechoslovakia, in a region um, there in Eastern Europe in 1860, and he didn't study art until he was well into his 20s. Um, he had tried a career as a scene painter in a theater in Vienna, and eventually got somebody to fund his art studies in Munich and then in Paris. He was friends with Paul Gauguin and Vincent van Gogh and artists in that circle. The work is beautiful and it had a lot of influence, especially um, starting in the 1960s. The style was resurrected by the counterculture hippie movement because of its relationship to nature. Most people recognize it now from having seen it on rock and roll album covers and in fashion and in posters. If you grew up in San Francisco, you saw Mooka derived styles and the rock posters that Bill Graham put out for his concerts at the Avalon Ballroom in the Cow Palace in the 1970s. People have started to take a second look, art historians. There have been a couple of major exhibitions on the Art Nouveau movement and then on Mooka himself over the last 10 years. There have been some books published. This exhibition comes to us from a single private collector who lives in Los Angeles. We're fortunate that that it's been put together into a traveling exhibition and the, the Carnegie and Turlock is the first place this collection has been seen in public. It's a pretty big deal. Outside of Prague, there really isn't anywhere in the world where you could see Mooka's art on display right now. As an artist, especially for other artists to look at, he really does have a strong influence because a lot of people, when they start to discover everything that he did, it's inspirational. The show is here until January 10th, um, so we've got a nice long time, hopefully word of mouth, to build a little bit. There is something for everyone. There's something very appealing about Muka's art that, that lots of people with different tastes can appreciate and, and understand. I haven't yet seen a person come in and see the show who hasn't been bowled over by the content and the quality um, of the, the presentation and the, and the artwork itself. Hey Eddie. Yeah, what's up? What, what's with the shoulder pad, man? <laughs> it's football season, man, and it's the blitz season. I, I gotta get ready. I think you need this, man. <sighs> what do you think? That's legit. The Blitz. Alphonse Mucha is a legend, and it's pretty special that his work is being displayed here in the 209. Be sure to catch our next episode at 209magazine.com, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and exclusively on the Turlock Journal YouTube channel. Next week, we're going pink for breast cancer awareness, and we have a very special episode, so don't miss out. For everyone here at Studio 209, I'm Krista Messer, and we'll see you next week.